Day 17 of 100 days building a homestead. You guys excited? Today's project, we're seeing what we can do in one hour. The sheep were in this paddock. It's pretty large. It's probably 4,000 square feet. Can we? We come in with the chainsaw and get the smaller stuff. Can we clear an entire sheep paddock in one hour? Ready? It's 7.15. I got up about an hour ago, 6.15, to get ready to go out to do the farm chores. Can I stay with you for three days? Uh -huh. Can I, um, I'll get skating. Yeah, Lily's got um, rollerblades and it's the hot stuff. Definitely has a better chance at rollerblades than dirt bikes, don't you think? Beth Doherty gets up at four in the morning and does a lot of riding. Sean, I'm not sure when he gets up, but he did tell us to arrive to start milking at 5.20. It's an early morning start. He milks at 5.20 every morning. But he wasn't there, so we went inside and asked Beth, is Sean ready? We didn't want to miss it. He was already down there. Well, the ambitious fella is already milking. <laughs> I guess he's on Lombardi time, Dan. Because we were here right at 5.20. But what he really meant was 5.05. We were here at 5.20 waiting in the car. <laughs> Up there at the top? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Hell, we're catch him coming out. Sorry about that. You must have, uh, you must be Coach Lombardi. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. When he said 5.20, what he really meant was 5.05. Well, that was, that's kind of theater, <laughs> theater talk as well. <laughs> Theater talk is, uh, if you're there on time, you're five minutes late already. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, 7.23, and I'm out the door, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. I like to start chores, chores when it's light outside. And I don't mind a little prep while it's dark. For one, we're milking outside in a different location every day, and benefit from the light. The, the two, the kids are with me and that's easier for them. And three, I'm making a show for you guys. It's kind of not as fun if it's in the dark. It's hard to see it. You know what? I don't think that's what Beth and Sean Doherty would do. I've been throwing these away. It's easier. I think they would do this. <laughs> no, I know they would do this. They would flatten us out. I don't know, store it somewhere. Probably not where we'll store ours, but... Uh, and then, they have a free trash bag. Better for the wallet, better for the planet. That's what I'm gonna do. There we go, free trash bags. There's 30 free trash bags right there. No plastic required. If I'm obedient for you for a whole day, can I get a go-kart? You were just on skates. And you gave me a you gave me a birthday present last night that said you'll be obedient for two days. Yeah. <laughs> no, I said I'll be obedient for one and a half of a day. <laughs> one and a half, huh? Two days is just too much. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Oh! What? Okay. Ah. Uh. I thought we were gonna have clear. You know what's happening? They're getting in the nest box at night. <laughs> Every night you gotta turn these nest box sideways. You gotta turn them sideways like this so they can't get in there. They're getting in, they're, they're perching in front of it, I reckon, and pooping. They didn't get in on top of the nest box because we put that barrier in. For two weeks you need to do that so you train them not to go in perched up there at night. Gideon's gotta, Go turn the water on. This just looks so nice, doesn't it? With the cover crops coming in on the raised bed, the light at the house, the fading leaves in the background. Here's the beautiful birds. Gosh, everywhere this looks so beautiful. Get in. You keep asking for a go-kart, what about your train? 
you were begging us for and we got from the neighbor. We're gonna get it fixed. Okay. I'm gonna be indisposed for a second. What are you gonna do? Well, here, here's a clip from Sean and Beth Doherty for their vision for the future. What is the plan as you get older? Um, it becomes harder to milk it. Well, I mean, one morning. of the things is we probably will do less up at the convent and more here on farm, mm. which is what we're already experimenting with. I mean, we brought some of the cows home and stuff like that, and that's yeah. working pretty well. Um, our hope is, I mean, we would like to partner with children. Yeah. Right. So what do what happens on a healthy farm or in a healthy farm family is the kids take over and although they won't take over and I don't think kids should take over exactly what their parents do because you know it evolves. You have to right, you have to turn it over. You're gonna have to, to be them. flexible and let some changes Absolutely. happen. That's right. Oh he's right. very flexible. Raymond, what are you gonna change? Quality of some of the work. Oh. oh, right, right. The kids always do that. They're that's like, a, okay, mom and dad. Stink. Less quality or more? No, no, oh, no, more. more quality. They want more quality. Oh, my gosh. They're not trying to cut corners. Oh, no. 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 We're back, and let's speed it up a bit. Gideon, we only have this morning to do chores, and day 17 of the homestead build. I want to see if we can do the chainsaw work behind the sheep in a paddock in just uh -oh. one day. As we've been chainsawing, I, kind of, I, forgot the, I forgot the rule. I've been clearing a patch and then clearing everything in it that I plan on taking down. But you don't want to do that. Instead, you want to get the little stuff first. Nobody's laying in there. Are they still laying in the weeds over there? Yes, they are. I see them from here. Do you think if we cleared the weeds, they'd start laying in this thing? Yeah. When are you going to get these eggs, honey? Mm -hmm. I didn't know they were here. You didn't? I'm not laying one. Here, start ripping, start ripping stuff That's off the wall. That's disgusting, okay. Oh, no, it's not. It's disgusting. It came from a good place to open Here, take that egg up and put it in there. Looks like they have little nests all over the place. They're gonna need water, too. chiropractor and distance. No, just the dentist, yeah. We're indisposed this afternoon, but now, there's your little hack. Don't go to town. And so when you do have to go to the dentist, everybody has an appointment. All six of us. Well, do you have an appointment too, Henry? Yeah, probably. Maybe. It's a miserable afternoon, but we knock it all out at once. And it's only one travel to town and one back, as opposed to six of those in every other, twice a year. When I chainsawed the other day and we Remember that and figured that out? It was so much more fun just to chop, j just to get the smaller stuff with the chainsaw. And we're gonna leave the other stuff for a mini excavator. Gideon said he was gonna go inside and get some water, but it's taking forever. What took you so long? Uh, uh. Apple detour? Yeah. <laughs> Lily went to get you, and now she's gone. Did she go on her lesson, or did Josiah come down? Josiah come down, and all of them but me are in there. There's gonna be a dispute on who goes on the lessons first, because I've, I want it changed. I want Josiah to go first, so he can help us with clearing. Hey, Rebecca, is Josiah in here? No, 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 no. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. My man. Yeah. What you reading? Farmer boy, still. Nice. To be honest. I figured Sean had been doing this bazillion times in a row. I expected to be a little more leisure. Uh, certainly not early. Out of curiosity, I had to ask him, well, do you ever get sick of it? I love the, the, um, the schedule that it provides for the whole family because yeah. you are, uh, you know, it starts the day, it ends the day. Mm. It gives me an excuse to get out of parties. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I say I gotta get up early in the morning. Beth and I were just talking about the fact how many years we've been doing this. Yeah. And, uh, with very few breaks. We had a break at one point when we thought, okay, well we need a break, we'll need a vacation. So we dried off the cow, we only had one cow at the time. And it was right then that we said, no, we have to have two cows because <laughs> we can't take that break. We just love having this come in and it right. makes the whole farm work. He jested, but 
I could sense, I sense in him just a sense of contentment, a sense of joy, and just knowing what every day holds and designing his life around something else, something bigger. For me, I'm in a new spot on the farm every single day. It's something I can do with the kids. I mean, this kid is on my back right now. <laughs> and, and Gideon's playing with them. And I'm enjoying the view. I've, I've learned to enjoy suffering. So, I can appreciate and know it's hard to do something every single day. But I can also know, hey guys, guys. I can also know that it's really good for the soul. Because it's hard and because it's a struggle, that's actually the good thing. And so I've learned to appreciate it. Gideon, let's go get the sheep. This comes at no surprise to me. They are daily massers, meaning they go to mass every single day. They have found great joy in that commitment, that discipline, that suffering, if you will. And after mass, breakfast with the family. All right, bird, this is a bit of an angle. We gotta go right there. It's a little wet this morning. I'm 50-50 on whether this is gonna work or not. After breakfast, the Doherty's end up doing some sort of project, it ends up being food preservation or making cheese or, or uh, a project around the farm. You guys know what we do. We, well, today, we're going to clear forest for pasture. That is, if I can get stud off this alfalfa. Come on, Joey. Come on, come on, Stan. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Or not. I'll just let him have the alfalfa. Lunch, by the way, was prepared by their children and I, their teenage children. I said, how in the world did you make this happen? They laughed and said, well, our children thought that they could do it better and on time, and it turns out they could. After lunch, Sean takes a nap, Beth tidies up. Then we head down to the local creek, the local swimming hole, and just relax. When you don't, spend money, you don't have to earn as much money. Come on, stud. Come on, stud. No, let's go. No, oh, he's not ready. Okay. Sean and Beth Doherty, this is their stick, growing 90% of their own food without exterior input. So, so like, growing 90% of their food on an extreme budget. Really? He's never been this stubborn about it either. Okay, I'll give you a scoop tomorrow. I'll give you a scoop. It's just saying you want it, right? You need it? Okay, all right. He doesn't have the internet. He doesn't have a dentist appointment. I literally have a dentist appointment. He doesn't have to clear pasture. This is his excitement for today. Then another supper together as a family, and that, that's what we do too. And then for Sean and Beth, an evening milking, and that closed out the day. They began the day with milking, they closed it with milking. Doesn't that beat beginning the day with a commute, a drive, and ending it with a drive? They may be poor monetarily. They are rich in discipline, in relationships, in love, in spirituality, and so many other things that, if we really get to the bottom of it, are what's really important. All right, I'm about to leave, stud. You know what? You can stay over here with the sheep. I'm gonna go with it. You don't have to be with the ladies. All right. I wish I would have thought about that 10 minutes ago after they're gone. Everybody over here is bred. We don't need him over here. You guys know my routine. Now you know the Doherty's routine. To some, that would seem like a nightmare. But to you all, who have tasted a little bit of the glory. Even if it's just watching these videos, that sounds like a dream. He is just going to town. Well, he wouldn't go over. He and the Ram have to figure out who's boss. That won't take long. 
And you know what I say, you can homestead, we can help. You can do it. This dream is yours. You can, if you're already living it, you can improve upon it. Listen, we all wanted, be honest, I did. We all wished we had a food growing aunt or uncle. We wanted somebody that we could ask the individual the specific questions to. I'm getting that for you guys. We're putting in, I don't know, at least five video classes from the Doherty's into a course on how to live, how to live 90% off the land. The first class has already dropped. Go and enjoy it. It's on Abundance Plus. But we, we are very different. You'll get in there. You'll, you'll see the courses. But then we're going to give you access to us. Remember the aunt and uncle passion? Uh, a webinar uh, November 8th at 6 p.m. Two hours Q&A with Beth and Sean. I'm giving you their book for free if you sign up by the 7th. We have book clubs over the next uh, a meeting in November and December from their book Independent Farmstead. Now through the 14th you will have email access to the Doherty's at the, if you have become a premium member of Abundance Plus. But now he's ready. Hey, hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. And as a premium member, you'll get ongoing text access to me. Call me Uncle Justin. Well, as long as you're a premium member. Premium membership, only available through the 7th. I don't know when we'll bring it back. I can only aunt and uncle so many people, so to speak. Come on, get in, let's go. So, get in there, abundanceplus.com, November 7th, by November 7th. I didn't want to bring you guys in here. Actually, we have an hour and a half. I wanted to go clear, but look at this. I'm not kidding you. Yeah, it happened yesterday. It also happened today. Look at this. This is our milk cooler. It's in the cold room. Look at this. A child must have thrown a jar in there and it busted. Guys, this doesn't happen that often. And I'm asking myself, my stick is, Enjoy the process, enjoy the process. How do I enjoy this? Oh, we've probably, an hour and a half was gonna be so, it's so good. It's a perfect amount of time to like do a chainsaw project. You have to fill up the saw, you have to sharpen it, you have to put on your safety gear. And you have to do that whether you're gonna work 20 minutes or an hour and a half. Here's the busted jar. Today's milk, I think what the trick needs to be, these might be getting claimed when we move them. So, well, I might not need this little one. Trick number one, Gideon. Don't let these touch each other in the move because they rattle and clang into each other and they might crack. All right. Ah. Come open the doors for me. Gideon, give me some ice packs. All right, now. Careful setting these in, not to drop them on each other. I'm gonna to try to clear an entire sheep's paddock with the chainsaw size stuff. I got an hour and 10 minutes. My biggest obstacle is time. I mean, but without time, we can't do anything. So it's also my biggest ally. 13 minutes later, we are geared up, fueled up, and sharpened up. Let's get it on. Clearing all the little stuff up here, just anything maybe not big or smaller. Maybe three inches in diameter. We're gonna leave the bigger stuff hopefully for excavator. I'm thinking this is probably our mark. What do you guys think? Yeah, anything this big or smaller. Inside down here, that'll be a good marker. We got a bunch of easy trees right there. Bunch of little easy trees there. What's gonna be tricky maybe is the mountain laurels. It'll be extremely satisfying because you clear that, right now you can't even see through it, and we're gonna see through it. One tree down, 247 to go. We've got to be able to do this in this hour if we're gonna get this 10 acres established and cultivated, so to speak. We've gotta be able to get a significant amount of work done in a short amount of time.
Time's up. Let's look at what we've done. That's nice. We still have some trees we need to get down either with chainsaw, bigger trees that need to be worked up or a machine. Look at this brush pile. So if this was 4,000 square feet, Ew. it may be more, give or take. I know, I think uh, an acre is 45,000 square feet. Is that right? Look at this we've cleared. Guys, I wouldn't have been able to walk through this. Here, let's walk through it. Let's walk and talk. And f so let's just say 40,000, uh, just for easy math. 10%, and let's say we have three acres of the 10. That could be pasture. That leaves us, that means uh, we'll do an acre in 20, in, in 20 days. That would be three acres in 60. Boy, that's gonna be cutting it close. Because we gotta do other things like put in some road, uh, find the water. We're gonna have to now make sure we put animals through here, no problem, to keep this stuff from sprouting back and mowing behind them, so no problem. One option's gonna be finding another hour somewhere every day. Tomorrow we go to the chiropractor, so it's probably not tomorrow. And if we could find, if we can make it two hours, we've cut our problem in half. Look who's back. What would we do without you? <sighs> Y'all been up cutting we'd, wood this morning. Yeah. We'd have, to there. we'd have to turn this tractor into a playground without you. I hear you. <laughs> I think it was November 3rd that my dad died. It was. So. That's. You got, you got two days. We'll two start days. it in memory of old boots. Yep. Hopefully today. He's gonna get the train going too. You gonna be the engineer? Yeah, oh, maybe. Yeah. yeah, you gotta find that hat. Jacob's taking it easy on today. Why'd you give it, it to us easy today? I could just tell you needed it. We're just, we're just doing a reset. Yeah, I can tell. Johnny, yeah. you can use it. Oh, those are your trainings. You gotta write the That's alphabet? Good. Yeah, his write the alphabet with his nice. knee all the way on your side, right? Uh -huh. you do it. Yeah. Yeah. Try to keep the knee locked if you can. Help with that. How are you doing? Yes, he's, he's gonna be back before we know it. She's been getting lunch ready. In rollerblades, how's that working out? Good. <laughs> it's never been so exciting to stand. Yeah, buddy. You have a new appreciation for working and walking. Nelly writes pretty much numbers. Oh, yeah. There you go, yeah. Any cavities? No, no. cavities. Not one cavity, cavity free. in this entire car. You, on the other hand, are a mess. Well, my, my implants, the gums, may be receding. You know. House of Solar Designers coming tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we got lots of house sites to explore. I feel like then, Rebecca, hopefully it's definitive. And hopefully we can find out where this house site is, and then we can mark clearly what these 10 acres are we're trying to develop during these 100 days. <laughs> you guys hear that? You hear it? Oh man, that's a beautiful sound. It's a beautiful sound. I'm getting tears in my eyes. It's good to hear it again. Yeah, yeah, it started right up once I got it. Good. I've just got it to where we'll put you push button on it. Yeah. You know, you, you go have the on off switch. Okay. And you got this working? Uh, I'm getting ready to try it. Let's look at this though. Man, I miss this loud diesel tractor. It's going. Now this is a tool that has meaning. <laughs> the whole family is attached to this. This is like the extended family. They borrow it from time to time. Man, who knew a machine could bring so much nostalgia? How do you think we can use Lucky in this hundred days of building a homestead? Pull some stumps out. We could maybe pull stumps out. We could haul. We could. We could haul some stuff in the bucket. Uh, we could do firewood with it. She's somebody we have right now until we get other equipment. <laughs> we got it running. Well, he's got to do some carburetor work on the train, so I don't think it'll be rolling today. But the tractor, we're going to get it rolling. I'm not sure how much Lucky will play part in 100 days 
of building a homestead, but certainly uh, going to play a big part, I think, in haymaking. If we make that happen, you can't use a track loader for that. He wants to drive so bad. I'm just waiting until he's a little bit older. Beck, I got to drive Lucky. That's She was so much fun. That's all you drove. Crushing Taco Tuesday, tomato sauce, guacamole, cheese. Salsa, you mean? Cheese quesadillas. Salsa, sorry. Mexican. Do I have time to make uh, pork rinds? Yeah, that should be fine. Winnie! Get your egg basket. Come on, little man. Come on. We are remembering not only to get the eggs, but to turn the nest boxes sideways. Make sure there's no poop. There's no poop. No, there's none. If we're on a race against time with this 100 days of building a homestead, tomorrow afternoon shot because we have chiropractor, let's make sure we get two hours in tomorrow instead of one. There's your one. And look, they're all perched on this. That's good. That's a good sign. We can do chicken chores tonight. Oh look, they're starting to lay. Yep. Now clean, we gotta clean that out of the manure. Okay. Let's clean the water out. And then we don't even have to come in here tomorrow morning. Look at all the eggs. <laughs> what? We are packed and ready to go for tomorrow. Double the work that we did today, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, plus, plus the passive solar Designer is coming and hopefully tomorrow we get our definitive house site. We've got six spots. Which one is the best? That's tomorrow. Also, don't forget we're launching Abundance Plus right now. Fall registration. Lots of specials going on. I talked about them earlier in the show. Do get in there. There's some deadline. November 7th. See you guys there. See you tomorrow. Love you. Thank you so much for watching this show. See you then.